We are following a developing story out of Valdosta. We told you earlier at five about a suspicious package reported at Valdosta State University. We have just learned that suspicious package incident has been called off. Good evening, I'm Abby Maurer filling in for Mika Highsmith. We are getting new details coming in and joining us now on the phone to talk more about the story is the Director of Communications at Valdosta State University, Teresa Boyd. Teresa, do we have you on the phone? Yes. Okay, thanks for joining us. Tell us more about this suspicious package, how you guys received it, and what made it look suspicious. Um, at about 3.15, uh, we received a report of a white box um, that was locked. Um, just left over on the side of the corner of the University Center uh, facility. Um, at that point, our VSU police did respond and made the decision to evacuate because the box was locked and they were unable to uh, confirm the contents. So the building was evacuated. Um, all personnel was sent to a secure location and um, we did uh, get assistance from the Valdosta City Police um, to block off traffic around the perimeter of the, the facility. Um, then we received additional assistance from GBI that came in and they, through their procedures, they were able to um, x-ray and look inside the box and determine um, there was no content. So just within the last probably 30 or 40 seconds, um, that has been confirmed and we now have traffic back open around campus and uh, we will be operational tonight. Okay, so again, nothing was found inside that black box, but you guys did take the precautions necessary to make sure that uh, students and faculty and everyone was safe. What did you guys do to let students know about this incident? Uh, we use a RAVE a campus alert system, and we sent a text message, a campus email, and voice message to the entire campus. Um, even though it was just a contained uh, population that was affected, we did send out to the entire campus the message that there was a suspicious package found at the University Center. Then we immediately, as procedures, uh, posted that information on the VSU website. Any idea of who placed the box there or why it even came to the building? No, we do not have any information on how the box got there. Okay, well, Teresa Boyd, thank you so much for joining us live on the phone tonight with this updated news about the now called off suspicious package at Valdosta State University. In other news tonight, Florida a and University trustees voted this morning to officially partner with the Black Television News Channel. The new news channel will benefit the university's School of Journalism and Graphic Communication. 